Hi guys, it's Tyler. Let's talk about how to connect a custom domain to Elementor Cloud. If you're interested in upgrading to Elementor Cloud, be sure and check out the link down below in the description and see what kind of price you can get for it. Elementor Cloud has hosting as well as Elementor Pro built into it all in one solution for your website. If you're interested, check out that link down below in the description. Now, Elementor Cloud comes with a .elementor.cloud domain. So if you wanna go ahead and use that for your website, you're more than welcome to, and that is provided with the Elementor Cloud package that you purchased. However, if you wanna add a custom domain, such as a .com, a .org, or a .net, you'll have to go ahead and purchase that domain from a domain registrar. This is typical customs for how you purchase domains when you have separate hosting. My preferred domain registrars are GoDaddy, Ionos, formerly known as One in One, and Namecheap. Now, once you've purchased Elementor Cloud, and if you haven't done so again, check out that link down below in the description and see what kind of price you can get for it. But once you've purchased it, go ahead and log into elementor.com using your Elementor account. From here, we'll go ahead and hover over the website that we've purchased with Elementor Cloud, and we'll go over to manage this website. Now, from here, you'll see this is the title of your website right here that you set up when you signed up. And also, this is the URL or the domain of your current website. Now, I do want to point out also that this URL right here also has SSL encryption. So if you do want to use it, you do have SSL encryption on it. For those that don't know, HTTPS, that little S means it's a secure connection or a SSL encrypted site. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click connect my domain. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and type in the domain name. Now, a few things to keep in mind, it says it's only a few clicks, but updating around the world can take up to 72 hours. So usually I haven't had too long of a delay from when I'm actually connecting my domain to being able to work on a site, but sometimes it does take up to two to three days. All right, so I have a domain here that I'm not using. I'm gonna go ahead and type it in there, just copy and paste it so I don't misspell anything here. And then this is gonna ask me if I wanna set this domain as my primary domain and also connect a www dot to the front of it. I would recommend the www dot. Um, and if you wanna set this as your primary domain, go ahead and do that. And then let's click, let's begin. Okay, so we did step one of entering the domain name. The second step is to go ahead and sign into our domain provider. So I've gone ahead and done that. I'm over here at GoDaddy. I've gone ahead and signed in. Let's go ahead and hit, I'm signed in, what's next? And that'll take us to step three where we're gonna go ahead and find our domain settings page. Now this step will be different for every domain registrar that you use, but here in GoDaddy, it's just really simple. I'm gonna go ahead and click manage domain here. And then it's gonna pop up with all of my settings to go ahead and manage this domain. And again, here in step three, in part three of this step, it says find the option to manage the domain settings. So it could be called domain settings, DNS, manage domain, anything like that. Look for something like that on your domain registrar our site. And then we can click found it, what's next, and this will take us over to step four. And step four is looking for our DNS records. And maybe you've never even heard the term DNS records before, and don't worry, it's a very simple, straightforward process. We're gonna go back over to our domain registrar. Here in GoDaddy, it's under additional settings. I'm just gonna click manage DNS. And now you can see this is where the DNS records are. You can see all of these different values here. This is the type over here, the name, and then the data, like the actual information inside of it. Now, all we're gonna do is change a few little variables. It's gonna be very easy and straightforward, but we can go ahead and click found them, what's next, and go on to step five, which is updating your DNS records. Okay, so step one, we're gonna go ahead and add an A record and actually remove our other A record, or if you have an AAAA record, that's quadruple A record, you need to remove that as well. So that's what it says right here if you hover over this little info, but we let's go ahead and we're looking for an A record with the name at and then the value, we're gonna go ahead and copy this value right here and go over to GoDaddy again. Now we're looking for the A record, which you can see is my first one here. The type is A, the name is at, and the data says it's parked, meaning GoDaddy has just basically held my domain name for me. Now let's go ahead and click edit here. We'll go ahead and leave the type to A, leave the name at at, and then for value, let's go ahead and paste in what we had just copied over. So let's go ahead and paste that in. Um, as far as TTL, we can leave it at whatever it's set at and then just hit save. 
And you can see that it just says it's successful and it updated here. It says your DNS record has been updated successfully, but it did mention that we might have to wait the 48 hours for it to be completely updated across the world. And we're back on Elementor and we need to go ahead and create a new C name record now. And we're gonna make sure that only the C name that we create is the one remaining, that there's no other C name record out there. So here's what we're gonna do. It's the type is called C name. The name is www. And then the value is basically this URL here that Elementor has given us. Let's go back over to GoDaddy here. We'll look for a C name called www. Perfect right there. And the data, we can go ahead and edit this and add in this URL that they gave us over on Elementor. And then leave the TTL to one hour, that's fine. Let's go ahead and save it. And I did see that we have a, another C name here. So let's go ahead and actually delete this. We're gonna delete this C name because we do have that second C name. Removing this record might cause some products to not work properly. Are you sure you want to delete the record? Yes, let's go ahead and delete that DNS record. And now the only C name we have here is the C name with the name www and the data of what we copied over from Elementor. All right, and the final step is saving the changes that we've made. So if your domain register has like a save button or apply button or something like that, go ahead and hit that, but I don't see one here on GoDaddy, so I think we're all set and ready to go. Let's go ahead and click, I updated my records, connect my domain, and let's go. All right, and now it says sit back while we finish things up, and they're gonna go ahead and send an email to my email address on file here for my Elementor account when this domain is live on my website. And again, just a reminder, it says it can take up to 72 hours, but like I said, sometimes it happens faster. So we'll just kind of sit back and see how long this actually takes. Hey guys, Tyler again here. I'm actually editing the video right now. And I just wanted to make mention that this process of waiting for a domain and a DNS to update, a domain to redirect to a new server, that whole process is called propagation. And propagation can take up to 72 hours but for me, in this case, I wanted to report back with the results. After about 60 seconds of propagating, I was able to start getting redirects happening. Whenever I typed in my domain, it was starting to redirect to my elementor.cloud domain, and it was kind of pulling up my website. But then after about 30 minutes, now I'll show you, this is about 30 minutes later, I'll show you right here. You can see that the full propagation has happened, at least for me in my location. The full propagation has happened. My new domain is up here at the top, and here is my full website just in about 30 to 45 minutes, somewhere in there. Now I do wanna make mention that this is for my location, someone on in Europe or across on the other side of the world, something like that may not actually have this redirect happening for them yet. So give it the full 48 to 72 hours before you send worldwide clients or customers to your site. But overall, I'm super happy with how fast this actually was. Well guys, I really hope this tutorial video has helped you know how to connect your custom domain to Elementor Cloud. And don't forget guys to pick up Elementor Cloud from the link down below in the description. See what kind of price you can get for it. It really is a fantastic price for everything you get. You get a drag and drop website builder. You get the premium widgets from Elementor Pro. You get hosting. You also get a bunch of other features such as daily backups and SSL certs all included with Elementor Cloud. And again, check out that link down below in the description to see what kind of price you can get for it. And lastly, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like. It really does help boost this video in the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing for other Elementor videos just like this one. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Take care.